GTA 5, great game. In the game, characters can call you on a phone. The phone pops up on the bottom right corner of the screen, and then you can see what has, what's happening. You can also manage emails, text messages, and blah, blah, blah. So I thought, hey, for live streamers, it would be cool if we can have maybe a channel point reward where people can send in messages. Maybe it's uh, your donation messages, for example. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you how to have this phone pop up during your live streams using OBS Studio and display a message typed by someone in chat. We're gonna do it through Twitch channel points because it's easy to set up and easy to understand, but you can set it up for any platform and also any reward where people can type an input. One last thing to know is that in order for the phone to pop up like that, we're gonna have to use the Move plugin, also known as Move Transition plugin. So OBS Studio, Move plugin, and StreamerBot. Let's do it. So here we are in OBS Studio, and one of the first things I needed to make it work is a picture of the phone. I have it right there. I will put a link in the description where you can download this exact image. It has a transparent background and the text space is blank. As you can see, it's an iFood phone, just like in the game. Now, if you don't wanna do the GTA phone, all you need is a PNG image of your phone and then it will work too. So let's start by creating a brand new scene and we're gonna call it GTA phone, all right? And then we're gonna have this image that I just showed you. We're gonna click plus, go to image as a source, call it phone and browse. It's right there, double click and there it is you can make it as big as you want. I'm gonna actually make it pretty big here because I really wanna be able to um, manage the text later on. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the side here because I know I'm gonna have to crop the left side, all right? Second thing that we're gonna need is a text source. So I'm gonna click plus under the source list. I'm gonna go to text GDI and I'm gonna call it text message. Cool, and just for, and I'm gonna place it by using a placeholder text. Okay, so I typed it all in line because most likely the data we're gonna get from the prompt from the channel point is going to be just in line. So now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find a way to basically restrain this text to a certain format. But first, we can tell that this is too big, so we need to play with the size. Let's click select font. I'm gonna keep it on, I'm gonna keep the font. I'm gonna keep the font on Arial, but you can choose whatever you want. I'm just gonna play with the size. Right now it's at 256. I'm also gonna change the color by clicking select color here, but it's visible on the white background. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. And I wanna click on use custom text extents. Okay, as you can see, it turned into a box here. And we basically need a box that's going to be roughly the shape of the phone. So we can play around with the values until we find that. Right now, the width is 100 and the height is 100. So what you can do is basically start placing it and then just eyeball it. I'm actually pretty close with 600 here. We're gonna go with 550. Okay, that's nice. And we can see we have quite a lot of space so that if they type a long message, it will still be visible. Just keep in mind that eventually, you know, the longer the message, they might not be able to type everything or you might not be able to see. So if they write like a gigantic paragraph, it's gonna get cut out eventually. Now it's gonna be small and also in the corner. So we want the text to be really visible. So I'm gonna change the color once again. This time I'm gonna make it completely black. I'm also under select font, gonna make it bold and this should be visible enough. Click okay. I think we're done with the text. And what we can do is group up those two elements and we can already basically program the movement within that scene to make the phone go up and down. So when it's not active, it's not gonna be visible. And when it gets activated, it's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna select the text message plus the phone using shift. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click group selected items, call it phone message. I'm gonna collapse that. And then I'm gonna right click on GTA phone scene, go to filters and add the move action, move source, sorry. <laughs> move source, click okay. We have phone message. That's what's selected. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna click get transform. So it registers the current position. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna rename the second one. Phone down. Let's move this on the side and let's basically grab the group and move it down. You can use the arrows to continue. There we go. Bring this back and we're gonna click get transform. So now let's rename this one. Press F2 to rename. We can click on it to test it. See phone up, phone down, phone up. Phone down. We can play around with the custom duration so it's a little slower. Let's go seven milliseconds, 700 milliseconds. Something I learned recently about the Move plugin is that you can already set your delays. For example, now we're gonna have StreamerBot basically trigger the phone up. It's gonna start down. StreamerBot is gonna say, okay, turn this on. And we can make this phone up filter here wait the desired delay. And the way we do this is basically by going here and scrolling all the way down and by telling it that the next move is to go down. Okay, next move is phone down, but end delay is what we need for our total delay, basically. You want it to be five seconds, put 5,000 milliseconds. So now I'm gonna click phone down, 
Okay, so nothing is happening. The phone is down. No problem. Shrimabot triggers phone up. One, two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> okay, my, my seconds were a little too fast, <laughs> but there it is. So with one single action in Streamerbot, it's gonna simplify our lives. That being said, I'm gonna remove that for now because I do need to see the text. So I'm just gonna set next move to none for now, and I'll just go back and put it to phone down later. Okay, cool. We have the animation, we have our overlay. If we want, we can even start like placing it. For example, on the full screen scene, if I wanted to add it, I would click on plus, and remember, it's its own scene, so I would add it as a scene. I would find existing, existing, existing scene. Okay, I can say it, I can, I can speak. Click GTA phone, click okay. And there it is, from there you can scale it. And the cool thing now, since the movement is in it, is that you can place it on any scene that you want. I would probably keep it that size and possibly put it like that. Of course, you can also add sound effects to go with it, but we're not gonna go through that now. Let's find out how to get the text from a channel point reward to appear there. Let's go to streamer bot. This is the streamer bot part. We're gonna go to actions and we're gonna right click and add a brand new action. We're gonna call it GTA phone, cool. If you have groups, put it in a group and we're going to click OK with that selected. We're going to go under sub actions and maybe we want the text to switch first. OK, so let's right click. Let's go to OBS Studio and under sources, we're going to find something that has to do with text, right? Something like set GDI text. Click on that. Now scene, where is the text? It's going to be in our GTA, GTA phone scene. The source is going to be text message. It's the only text. And then under text, we need to type what we want the text to change to. In our case, we want a variable because it's data coming from the channel point reward. So we're going to type our text format. One thing we do need is the name of the person and then maybe column and then the text, right? And underneath it, and under text here, it says you can use a variable in text, for example, target user to set the text to the target's name. Let's actually do that. We'll add the target info later. So target user. So that's percent target user, lowercase, and then capital U for user percent. Then I'm going to space column space. And here I want raw input. That's the variable to get the text from the channel point. Lowercase raw input with capital I percent. And this should be it. OK, I'm going to go and create the channel point reward now so I can add it to the triggers. So now we need to go and create our channel point. I'm going to go under platforms, Twitch, channel point rewards, and I'm going to right click and click add, call it GTA phone, uh, GTA phone text, because that's what's going to show up to people. And then user input required. So that's to let people type something. You can put the cost. I'm going to keep it at one for now, just to test, play around with the cooldowns, do whatever you want, put in a group if you have to. And then here under prompt, I described what it was. I'm going to click okay. And then I'm going to go back to my action and set it as a trigger. So right click Twitch channel point reward channel point redemption GTA phone text right there. Let's go back to OBS and I need to bring up my Twitch chat. Let me switch to my Twitch profile for that. There it is. Okay, my chat works. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to click on the, the channel point rewards here and I'm going to see the new one called GTA phone text. And then here I can type uh, whatever message I want and the text should change. Let's press enter. There it is. Target user doesn't work because we forgot that target thing. And I'm going to go back to streamer bot. I'm going to right click Twitch user, get user, get user info for target. And we're going to make sure that is on top of that source type user. Click OK. And then as you can see here, it automatically says add target info from who redeemed. We want that to be on top. And now we can try again. I never get it on the first try when I make those videos, <laughs> but it's good. I show you the mistakes. If something's wrong, now you know how to correct it. You know, if you're like, oh, I have target user, you know how to fix it. I'm actually big brain. All right, let's go again. Type, press enter. Yes, yes. Okay, let's try a, a longer text now. Okay, we got a longer text. Let's see how it does. It does perfect. It does really well. That's what it does. Okay, cool. So all we need now is to basically trigger the whole movement thing. I'm going to go right click on the GTA phone scene. I'm going to click on filters and I'm going to go back and put that uh, delay thing. So after phone up, I want phone down with my end delay. That is five seconds. I'm going to put it longer. Probably let's put 7,000 milliseconds. 
so that I have time to read on stream. I'm showing you this tutorial. I am, I know I'm not showing the audio part, but honestly, if you can follow all of this, I think you can add an audio source with a sound effect. So now we should need a single phone up trigger in Streamerbot, and that'll do it. That'll do it. Let's go here and I'm gonna go right click. Let's go back to Streamerbot, I should say. Let's go OBS. Let's go to scene and let's go to set scene filter state because the filter is on the scene, remember? Do you remember? The scene is GTA phone. The filter is phone up and the state that we want it in is visible. I'm gonna leave it at the bottom here so that it can change the text and then bring the phone up or at least try. Let's do another take of going here back to our just chatting scene where I can redeem the GTA phone text channel point reward and type, let's put the same message, right? And press enter to send. It goes up, okay? And then five sec seven seconds later, actually, it's gonna go down on its own without even using Streamerbot. It's that simple. It's that simple. Add sound effects, add a different phone, add, add text bubbles if you want or whatever. But congrats, congrats. Now you have a new cool channel redemption. If you're a fan of GTA or not, it doesn't matter. And that's all there is. You should like, subscribe, watch my other videos, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get a level. Why am I rushing so much? Get a level out.